Welcome to Dell Experience Live at CES 2020. This is my second year hosting the Dell Experience at CES, and I love doing this because I learn so much, I see so much, and sometimes I abscond with product. So I can't wait to see what they got in store for us this year. Let's get going right away. Please let me welcome President of Dell Client Solutions, Sam Bird. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, yeah awesome. I'm really excited. Awesome to have you, and uh, thanks everyone for joining us here. Um, it is great to see you in Las Vegas and from around the world joining us on the live stream. And I am super excited to be here with you again, uh, second year. It's great to see you in the new year. Thrilled. Seven days into 2020, did you have a good uh, good New Year's? I did. I did. It, it, and you know, it, I came. I dropped everything to race back here to CES. So I was vacationing until like a day ago. But you know, technology gets me excited. So yeah, well, we're we're happy to have you here yeah. with us. And you know, I was playing a few card games over uh, over the holidays, and I got crushed by my kids. So. That was an omen when I came to Las Vegas. There is no gambling yeah, here. Stay off the table. Table. <laughs> um, so hey, I've been here one day, and I got to tell you, the amount of technology on display is really staggering. You got to be impressed with the stuff that's out there. I always uh, just in the state of constant kind of like drool and want whenever I come to CES. Yeah, it's very difficult actually. It, it, yeah, it's hey, it's amazing. I also think it's a really good thing for us because as Dell, we're optimistic about the role technology plays in helping people reach their full potential. You know, you think about our company, and Michael founded our company 35 years ago um, on it with a mission of making great, awesome technology affordable for people. And you think about what that done, that helps us advance human progress. We're now sitting here on this stage, we have a $90 billion company in Dell Technologies. We span everything from amazing edge devices to awesome hybrid cloud infrastructure to software that makes it all work. And as a technology leader, as we talk to you today, um, it re really puts us in a very unique position to be able to identify some trends that are happening in the industry and drive big shifts in the industry. So today, with you, Aisha, we're gonna get a chance to talk about my favorite part of the business, the place where it all began for Dell, uh, the business that I'm privileged to lead, so I may be a little biased on my favorite, but we're gonna talk about the PC business. Excellent. I'm really excited to hear about your vision for the future. Uh, PCs have changed all of our lives. I mean, they're the, they're the hub of how we get work done and play done. So I heard you had a few cool announcements last week. We, we did. We announced some pretty awesome products. In fact, they're so exciting, I can't really decide what my favorite is. But I figured if you're game, maybe we can take a quick look at some highlights of the products. OK, let's roll a video. to go a little deeper. I so do. we're going to get some uh, members of our team to come up and share a little bit more about these products. And first up, we got the head of our consumer and small business product group, Ray Wah. products we saw some of them up on the screen and he said he couldn't choose a favorite so which one are you most excited about well I'm sure this is not difficult at all so first I'm Ray and I lead Dell consumer uh, consumer product group uh, so let me help them here right so I'm sure all of you here right, would agree with me that it's got to be this baby Look at that pretty little girl right there right so beautiful so this is the new XPS 13, gorgeous and stunning. And this is the laptop that has the first true 
four-sided infinity edge display that reduces the bottom bezel by as much as 15 millimeters or 76 percent. Now, not only is the viewable display area larger by 6.8 percent, the entire form factor is smaller by 2 percent. Now, five years ago, back at CES 2015, when we first announced the XPS 13 with an infinity edge display, our mission was to create the perfect combination of aesthetics and performance. Now, this led to the display transformation of practically every consumer device that had a display from phones to monitors. In fact, it was voted only recently by publication to be the best laptop of the decade. So the new XPS 13 with four-sided infinity edge display has made the best even better. Can I just hold it? Can I just hold it like that? Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> no um, I could go on and on, but uh, rather let the video do the talking. Okay? <laughs> Together we can do anything. is so light, it's so small, it's so thin, it feels, it's, it's a PC, it's a computer that feels like a tablet. You can take it anywhere, you can watch films. I mean, look, the thing you want is powerful computing that you don't feel in your backpack when you throw it in there and you're going out or when you're, it's on your lap, it's not burning up your quads, you know, that's, that's their profit. Um, anybody else who sees this thing like me is gonna say, I wanna, I want that thing, I wanna hold it. It's, it's beautiful. So you really want one of these? I really do. <laughs> well, we actually have a choice of two colors, right? We have uh, the carbon fiber black on the palm rest, or you could choose the even glass uh, fiber on antique white. So which would you prefer? Oh, antique white, absolutely, yes. <laughs> this one, this one. <laughs> I think if you, you've seen the black, you probably end up saying, hey, I want both. Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't know that was the answer. I can't choose. <laughs> so even if you carry two of these, amazing XPSs, you probably still have your phone with you. Now, together with the launch of the new XPS, we're also enhancing um, Dell Mobile Connect to include iPhones as well. Now, since we launched Dell Mobile Connect back in 2018, Dell has continued to lead in this space. Now, for both Android users and iPhone users, you can wirelessly drag and drop the photos, your videos from phone to PC and vice versa, making us the most comprehensive iOS to Windows PC integration software in the industry. So you can see your favorite mobile apps on the PC screen, control that with your PC keyboard and your mice and the touchscreen display. Well, I think that's incredible, not just because of the seamless integration, but also because hopefully it will end the ongoing battle between the iOS users and Android users, Absolutely. which has been raging in the streets for years. <laughs> Shows go, every time, you know, you're, if you're texting and something pops up blue or green, you know what I'm talking about. It's always a fight. So. Yeah, so, again, you know, we think about, you know, an average user, and all of us are so busy and we multitask all the time, right? I think some of you operate with, like, multi-cores or maybe a hundred cores in your brains, right? And you probably use a ton of different displays to view data, right? And Dell knows this. This is why we focus all the time on delivering the best total experience. Now, on the topic of displays, last week, we actually announced a gaming display. A new gaming display. Oh, yeah. I'm very excited about that. I'm a big gamer, so I'm always excited about this. Right, so this is the new Alienware 25 gaming monitor. Incredible gameplay with fast IPS technology for amazing colors, an exceptional response action with 240 hertz of refresh rate, and one millisecond of response time in native Full HD resolution. Now, 25 inch is the preferred class by many of the top esports players uh, and games, and you know it's also the official display for the League of Legends tournaments and these tournaments. 
Oh, like huge. Huge, huge. Yeah. Esports is huge. It's the next frontier in, in sports in general. And uh, I, I love gaming. I've been a gamer for a very long time. I'm not a competitive gamer um, unless I, you're in my house and I'm just fragging you in your face. But um, I'm, I'm never, I know I'm never going to be the next League of Legends winner. But I do know that refresh rate and response time to displays is the difference between winning and losing. These guys are winning by fractions of a second or fractions of a kill. So yeah. it's no surprise to hear that the pro teams are using these. Yeah, so, you know, Alienware design is monitors with the professional gamers in mind. So we also launched a couple of commercial monitors. And for that, I'd like to introduce my colleague, leader of commercial mobility product group, Magna Padova. Of professionals, we have our Dell UltraSharp monitor line. Our new 43-inch 4K USB-C monitor allows you to visualize a lot of data at once so you can make better decisions. It can allow you to connect and view content from four PCs simultaneously. We also announced our new 27-inch 4K USB-C display with a wider color coverage. It's perfect for professional photographers, designers, filmmakers, anyone for whom color is critical. <coughs> and if you're here, here in Vegas today, please join us at the Dell Experience at Sugarcane, where we will be showing our upcoming 32-inch 4K Premier Color Display. It was built specifically for film editors so that they can uh, create 4K HDR content with better color accuracy and consistency. Awesome. Look, this is a beautiful monitor, and uh, I, I'm a film director, and, and I also direct television. I add a lot of my own work. This is going to be killer for editors that are working in 4K. Yeah, you really need to check it out. Now, I may be biased, and I know that the XPS 13 is stunning, hi, but I do believe that the Latitude 9510 is the clear winner here. <laughs> 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 Last week, we announced our first latitude in our first 9000 series ultra premium category. It's designed specifically for business users who need the best products, the best materials, and the most innovative features. We took learnings from our XPS premium portfolio, and we combined it with features that our commercial customers really want. Uh, to really design the Latitude 9510 with uh, executive customer experience in mind. So we packed a targeted 30 hours of battery life, 5G connectivity, and powerful audio features in the world's smallest, lightest, and most intelligent 15-inch commercial PC. At just 3.2 pounds, this device allows you to travel light without the extra weight of speakerphone packs, battery chargers, and adapters. I'm sorry, 3.2 pounds uh -huh. and 30 hours of battery life? Uh -huh. You really need to check it out. That's bananas. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. Um, so it's offered as a notebook and as a two-in-one. And as you can see, it looks amazing. Yeah. But what's really exciting is that it comes with built-in AI-based performance optimization. OK, so tell me what you mean about optimized performance. Is it a virtual assistant? What, how does that operate? Great question. So it includes built-in AI-based productivity boosters. Um, it's a new software that we call Dell Optimizer. And what Dell Optimizer really does is it works in the background to adjust the system to your needs. Um, so it gives you smarter system performance, application responsiveness, um, battery management, as well as audio tuning. But the best thing is it does it all in just one application. Wow. Mm -hmm. Um, and we know that battery life is really vital for those of us on the go, because we know every little minute counts when we're in the middle of a really important task. So the 9510 also comes with built-in AI-based uh, battery management. Okay, explain that too, because I think a lot of times we're using human intelligence to manage our battery life by c closing things and freaking out. So how does this work? So what the Latitude does, it applies the right charging rules based on what the system has learned about you. Um, Dell Optimizer is all about saving you time so you can focus all of your time on the things that matter most. Um, it is, uh, we also use uh, machine learning in our Dell Pro Support offering to predict system issues and engage IT proactively 
So this allows us to contact IT even before um, issues land. most secure commercial PCs. So our companies can feel safe that their data and their devices are secure. That's incredible. That's incredible. I mean, the battery life combined with that weight and also just, just the idea that you're going working to make you more effective, I think, because all the time we're kind of like, this is, it's running, you know, I'm losing battery too quickly, you know, it's not working properly, and then you're trying to optimize your system on your own, so your computer doing that for you is killer. Uh, that's what I have to say about that. It's exciting to know that latitude is going to make you more powerful and more productive when you're on the go, which is what we all want. So thank you so much. This was so great. Thanks thank for you. Ray and Megna for sharing this overview. Your team just showed off some super cool new products, and I understand now what you're saying about it being tough to pick a favorite. Uh, these these products have new intelligent features. They're light. They're beautiful. It's really it's exciting. Yeah, hey, we're super proud of the products. They are pretty amazing. It's hard. It is hard to pick a favorite, yeah. and I'll tell you, we're not done innovating. So the stuff is pretty cool, but we're going to keep we're going to keep going. Yeah, I mean, Dell has set trends. You guys lead the industry in PC design innovation. So. And I think what's exciting about Dell is that it's more just than the tech that you guys are doing. It's not just about the products, it's about how you approach the work. Yeah, I, I think that's absolutely right. And I'll tell you, we don't talk about it enough, but how we do things is, is as important to us as the what and some of the products that you saw. You know, you think about Dell Technologies today, we're a leader in the industry, 150,000 team members. We do feel deeply it's our responsibility to create a positive impact on people and our planet. Um, at the end of last year, you know, we correctly anticipated the new decade. Uh, we announced our Progress Made Real 2030 Social Impact Plan. And if you look at that, it's really a call to action for our team members, for partners, customers, to all come together and achieve things that at first glance seem pretty impossible. Love to talk about that a little bit, because as technology optimists, you know, we really believe firmly that technology has the power to solve some of the biggest challenges facing humanity today. You think about what's happening today in places like healthcare, education, we're seeing technology pave the way for real change. And we're just starting to scratch the surface of really what's possible. So we set, Aisha, a moonshot goal, really aggressive, to use our Dell technology capability and scale to positively impact a billion people, I think one in seven people on our planet worldwide by 2030. It's a super ambitious goal. I'll, tell, I'll be honest, we don't know how to achieve it quite yet, yeah. but we thought it was our responsibility to tackle yeah. some of the big problems out there and do that as, as one team going after it. I mean, that's, but that's what technology is, right? Even though you don't know where you're going, you know you're going to be able to get there through innovation. Uh, what is I Del certainly hope <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. I mean, look at where we, we are from where we've come. I used to hold a phone that was the size of a dictionary. Um, what is Dell doing from a sustainability perspective? Hey, so that's a, the second area when we thought about these aggressive goals and how we're doing things we're going after. We've been an innovator for a long time in sustainability. I know we've talked about this some. Um, we have been implementing industry-changing sustainability at scale before people widely recognized that that was the right thing to go and do. So we've got a good track record here. We stood on stage last year, if you remember. I shared we used 100 million pounds of recycled content in our new products. <coughs> We have recovered more than 2 billion pounds of used electronics through responsible recycling programs. So we're making a big difference. Those numbers have just grown from last year. And now we're gonna take that to the next level. So we set some aggressive moonshot goals here that by 2030, for every product we sell, we will reuse or recycle an equivalent product. We're gonna make our packaging 100% recyclable or renewable content. And the one that to me is the, the biggest challenge out there is that for our new products, half of the content in our new products will be recycled or renewable content. So think about that cutting edge technology, stuff you're seeing here, some more stuff we're gonna show you later, 50% of that coming from recycled or renewable content. It's taking our engineering leaders, our material scientists, our best brains to go figure out how to make that happen. And to me, the thing that's pretty cool is we're thinking about the whole life cycle of the products. 
we're really investing in building a circular economy for cutting edge technology. And it's a it's a pretty ambitious thing to be going after. And I think it's so important to consumers to know that their products are coming from a responsible company and that they're being created responsibly. I think people are thinking about this and it's great that you guys are thinking about it as intensely as you are. Uh, and I also know that you guys uh, care not just about the environment, but you also care about your team, the people that, that you work with. Yeah, hey, people are also important. So you think about our third moonshot goal in this space. We want to create the best technology experiences for, for, for people. And you saw Ray and Magna going back and forth on who's got the best thing. It's good to have that competition. You know, we've also realized that our people and diversity of our team and people is a really critical component of having the best innovation in the industry. And we know from our experience, real inclusion happens on purpose. And we've done this from the very beginning of our company. You take a look at a help wanted ad uh, from back in Austin, Texas, the very first days of what Dell. What is that though? What's that thing? I, I think it's online. News pink. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty funny. It is That's exactly it. Yeah. Yeah. Vintage. Yeah. We're going retro here. But it, it is amazing. You look back to the you know first days of Dell in Austin, Texas. Start company started 35 years ago. Having a talented and diverse team is in our DNA. It's how Michael started this company. We've now committed to some aggressive goals and taking that to the next level for 2030. So you're going to see us. We've committed and we'll have 50% of our global workforce, 40% of our people leaders at least will be uh, women. 25% uh, of our U.S. workforce, 15% of our U.S. people leaders will be black, African-American, or Hispanic, Latino. So we're really committed to continuing what we started 35 years ago and making progress. I think a lot of times people say, well, we really want to do it. We're going to try to make it more diverse. But the fact that you guys are setting real hard benchmarks that you, and, and a real goal, a timeline, I think is really important because it, it, demands, it demands aggression. And it's, we, want to, we want to work with companies that represent the world that's all around us. Yeah, I, no, I think you're right. And for those of you, I know I see many faces in the audience. You know Adele well. We're great when we set those targets and go after them. And they are, they're hard targets. Um, they're hard numbers that we're going after. You know, our moon, you think about uh, what we're kind of, kind of trying to do with, uh, with people. Our goal is, it's also good for us. If we want to be the employer of cho choice for the best talent anywhere in the world, we want them to come and work at our company. As you said, technology is vibrant. We need the best brains, the motivated folks going and getting stuff done. And we're thinking about, you know, we're thinking about diversity from all dimensions. We're thinking outside the box. We have some initiatives like our autism hiring program that helps us hire, retain some amazing talent that's often overlooked. So it's about doing things in the right way that are good for people, it's good for our company, it's good for our customers. Yeah, exactly, diverse experiences, diverse minds, bring robust innovation. You want people coming from everywhere in the world to bring their best ideas to the table. Absolutely. And uh, these kind of programs prove that growth and tech innovation can go hand in hand with expansive thinking and inclusion. People have choices. They want to. They want to spend their money and their time and their effort with a product and a company that's doing well while it's also doing good. And I think that's really important. Yep. Hey, so it was great to get a chance with you, with the, our friends here in the audience, to talk about how we do things. As I said, we don't we don't do that enough, but it's something that is deeply embedded in the culture of our company. So now we'd love to shift to when we do all that stuff right. Talk about some of the things that come out of the what that comes out of the talented team and what they're putting together for the future. So to do that, I'd love to invite the stage another guest, the head of our client product group, Ed Ward. Hey, yeah. All right, great to be here. Welcome. All right, so we've seen some pretty incredible things. What's next? Well, I'm glad you asked that. As the client product group leader focused on engineering, I have one of the best jobs in the world. Our engineers think about the real life applications of future technologies as we look out into the future. They get to change the way people use and think about technology. We focus on every little detail in your device to make sure it's the best experience that you've ever had or imagined. How from how the keyboard feels when you type on it to how the laptop sounds when you close it. And like Ray mentioned, how our phones integrate with our PCs. 
I'll bet you didn't know we employ over 20,000 engineers and data scientists. 85% of them write software. Some of the biggest uh, tech impacts come from software. And what hasn't changed for us over the last 35 years is our drive and our passion around innovation. And whether that software is part of the experience you'll see, or if it's doing something fundamental like changing the way PCs are deployed and managed with Dell Technologies Unified Workspace, a cloud platform that removes cost and friction from PC management. It's a modern approach to solving an age-old problem. It makes it possible for employees to be, have a better experience and be more productive and focus on transforming the business from day one. In the past decades, the PC has become the entertainment center and the productivity tool, the way we get both work and play done. As we lean into the next 10 years and beyond, we're focused on innovative devices and experiences that will help us stay connected and get work and play done faster and better. I think the exciting thing about the technology space is how fast they change. And if you think about where computing was 10 years ago, you can't believe how far we've come. So what do you think we're going to be seeing in the next 10 years? Well, it's 2020. It's a new decade. And as we like to refer to it, it's the data decade. There's intelligence and data everywhere. It's in cars. It's in homes, buildings even in close. 86 petabytes of data traveled across the cellular network in the U.S. in 2007. Today, 86 petabytes moves across the cellular network in 18 hours. We predict that in 2030, 86 petabytes will move in 10 minutes. That's an incredibly massive shift. Uh, I mean, um, exponential is probably not a, a, the right word, but it's extraordinary. How is it going to impact the way that we use our personal computers? Well, the PC is going to be the enabler for this data decade. It gives people the ability to act on that data, making it possible to create, innovate, collaborate, and play. Innovation in technology comes in the form of stepping stones. It's a continuum. It doesn't happen all at once. In the next decade, we see a couple of key trends that will guide the evolution of technology and how we experience it. These two key trends complement each other. And they can be summarized by saying intelligent companion. Okay, so I'm thinking that's not my, my buddy before he's had a couple beers. What is it? <laughs> and after that, he's, he's super dumb. Uh, what is it behind this evolution of AI and ML? Well, it's data. If AI is the engine for your rocket ship, then data is the fuel. We've experienced leaps in progress because of the abundance of data available out there to train systems. And while Dell has made major advancements in AI and ML, We've only scratched the surface of what's possible. In this data decade, PCs will become more aware of condition, location, surroundings, level of capabilities, and security. We'll be able to improve the professional and personal lives with more machine intelligence, not only delivered with intelligence, delivered within the context that you need it. In the future, this means your device will predict what you need even before you need it. You know you need it. Your PC will become more aware of you. It will get you. The interfaces also will be intuitive. They'll understand what you need within the context that you need it. Think about touch screens beyond them, even beyond dual screens, all screens, or if you need it, even no screen in some cases. The no screen thing is blowing my mind a little bit. <laughs> I'm excited about it, but it all sounds amazing. So what's the companion part of this whole thing? Sure, the second part touches on the broader technology like 5G and hybrid cloud. That'll allow us to access projects, work, and content wherever it may be, so that it's always with us. Dell's driven serious advancements in 4G and LTE connectivity, but 5G will be incredibly important. It will be faster, deliver multi-gigabit speeds at very low latency with very low power consumption. In essence, better connectivity. In the future, your PC will learn the level of capability in any given area, in any given context, and augment your experience. Devices will move from being functional to being a companion will with you as you navigate your day. We can see how artificial intelligence and machine learning can help gamers stay immersed. An example could be gaming PCs. It can measure your heart rate, your perspiration level. It can adjust the intensity of the game based on your health and your preferences. Even adjust the level of difficulty of gameplay in real time based on your experience and how you're experiencing the game. PCs will help us do tasks better and faster. They'll empower us to increase abilities. 
that'll make our lives easier, whether making sure schedules are up to date, or making sure we defeat that army of virtual zombies. I would like my, my PC to make my game easier and make everybody else's game harder <laughs> simultaneously. So, just hedge, a pitch. Hedge you win, tails they lose. <laughs> exactly. That was awesome. I really can't wait to see where you guys are going next. This is all very exciting stuff. Well, I'm excited too, Aisha. But in fact, we're going to do something a little bit different. but in the same inspiration behind several inspiration behind our first concepts, which is what we call concept duet. Ah, uh, you you grab you first, and I'm just gonna follow you around. <laughs> so we'll come back. We'll come back soon. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's show everybody what's going on. It's uh, ever you go. And you'll be able to see more at once. You'll access the data, and you'll be able to do multiple tasks more. I work. And I have my phone open and. I my phone yeah, essentially looks like a really operator. It would be great if you could create comments and side by side with a screen or a stylus. This is awesome. Exactly. We're going to fix it. <laughs> you want to try? You can try. I okay. do. Yeah. There, right. there we go. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Now you got to sign it. Oh, I will. Yeah. Here's my autograph. Rock and roll. All right. <laughs> Concept duet, but in a completely seamless experience. All right. Concept Ori. The Ori looks like a single beautiful for a lot of pen. What's gonna happen? This is where the magic happens, okay? I'm ready. You slightly oh. device. Oh wow. Allowing you to create so with concept yeah. so with concept ori. What we showed you can excited. Very similar to what we showed you with concept duet. Imagine you're participating in a video conference with your coworkers on one you can actually take little notes. Side. But when you're done, the best part is that. Okay. Oh man. I also just want to give it up to everybody else who are like literally the biggest hype mob ever. Oh, what? No way! <laughs> this, right now. this is incredible. It's a, oh, it's so lightweight. When it's open, it's just like a regular tablet screen. And look at you guys. Uh, uh, incredible. So, so this is a, this also I use the technical word for factor. But, I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to actually start around, you know, like prototyping the functionality. This is so exciting. So I can't wait to see everything else that you guys have done. Thank. You. That was awesome. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Very much. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. Happy to be here with you. Today. I'm so happy you're here. Uh, this is my favorite topic, obviously. And Ed just talked a lot about the trends with AI and ML. So I want to hear about the intersection of those trends and gaming. Absolutely. We think that with AI and machine learning, all mundane tasks will be taken care of. So with a combination of a 5G future and advancements of AI and ML, we'll have more time to focus on play versus work, which is great news for all gamers. Yeah. Imagine a world where you have access to AAA games wherever you are. You could be gaming on your laptop at home, pause, bring out another device on your commute, and pick up right where you left off. Our customers tell us it's unbelievable. It has the weight and the feel of your home controller, this gorgeous screen. I'm so excited. Uh, I know that this is still a concept piece, but um, uh, it's totally operable, and Halo's already loaded on here. So if you just want to like drop this in my backpack, it's open, it's back there. Uh, I could just, I'll, I'll send it back. I'll send it back in one piece, I promise. <laughs> All right, you got it. Thank you. Join us on game night. Awesome. Thank you, Vivian. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, super cool. All right. Well, hey, these are these are concepts. We're not releasing specs, availability, or pricing. We're sharing these concepts with you to give you a glimpse into how we drive innovation at Dell. To stay on the cutting edge of innovation, you have to actually go beyond the edge and peer over into the horizon of technology and experiences. Developing concepts is one of the key tools that we use to ensure that we're looking beyond. 
You can not only see these concepts at the Gale Experience and the Sugar Cane, you can also get your hands on and play with them. So we talked about some key trends here today. Devices becoming more intelligent, and 5G and cloud advancements changing the way we access and treat data. Both trends point to the fact that PCs will empower people and make their lives easier and be your, that intelligent companion. Hope you enjoyed seeing more of Dell's thoughts on the future trends that will shape the industry and on our concept journey. We'd love your feedback at hashtag Dell Experience. Thank Thanks. showed a bunch of incredibly cool tech today. This was so much fun. Thanks for hosting us here. Share your vision for the future. All these incredible concept pieces. This was so awesome. Yeah, it was. You guys like that? It mm. was pretty yeah. amazing. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Thanks to everyone joining us live. Thanks to everyone joining us on the live stream. Um, we did a, something that was a little unusual for us and not only showed off some amazing products that are available today, but some of the concepts we have coming. If you, if you look at it, I am filled with hope and anticipation for how technology is going to shape this next decade. You know, we truly believe technology empowers people, us. And as technology, as you saw, as technology becomes more intelligent, we believe people will be the superheroes of the next decade, making an impact, together change in the world. So thanks again, everyone, for coming. Thank you, Aisha. Everyone have an awesome CES. Thank you.